Alrighty folks, I am back out and this time I'm in Torridon and I'm with my colleague Kev. Give us a wave Kev. Hello. So the plan of this trip is to go up a nice little Torridon hidden gem, camp on the summit and then tomorrow we're going to do Ben Alligan as well. Nice. Alright mate. That's us just done an hour now and just over three kilometres on the clock we've reached the branch off path to head up the horns of Allegan just behind me there. However, we are going to do Ben Gerag first, which if I swivel around is this big beastie right behind me. It's an absolute peach. Right here folks, here we've got the mighty, I think it's pronounced Blashven, cracking core by that. But for us, we're going to head up the stone chute here. It's a little rock pinnacle, and then we'll just sort of head up. It is steep, but it doesn't look half as bad as it does further back. And then we'll pick up this ridge, and then it gives us a nice kilometre walk along this nice skyline. And then the summit is just up behind there. Kev hasn't disappointed, he's got his Mrs. Specs on. They're mint mate, honestly. Beautiful, eh? Aye. The last pair I had, I smashed. Then I got another pair of my wife's glasses and I smashed them as well. Pink ones are mint. These are the last pair, I better look after them, eh? And you just buy a jobs lot for Primark, like. I'm just going in there. Aye, I'll have them, have them, £10, five glasses, boom. How did you get them? Just Eddie, because I've had to look myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 I managed to keep my feet dry, crossing all this. Not bad at all, because I've got the trail shoes on again. Two hours on the clock. And I think we're going to go to the left of these big boulders here. And then up that way. And gain the ridge in the next 40 minutes or so. Alrighty, folks. We're making slow progress up this really steep corbett. Got about 550 meters of ascent done. This here is the Horns of Allegan. If I pan around, got views out to the coast. Got the Corbett Blash Fen, that looks an absolute stunner. Can't wait to do that one. There is the true summit that we need to go up and over this first. But this is classic Torridon, look at all those Torridonian sandstone terracing. Super boss. Well, this is stunning. We've reached the first top and we're just trying to try to scope out where we're going to camp. There is some flat spots just in this spot, but uh, we've still got maybe about you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to the, the actual summit itself. Oh no, it's coming back for us. Kevin, duck! <laughs> ah. Alrighty folks, that's us at the summit of Ben Jerak. At 914 metres, it's roughly 
2,998 feet, which is literally two feet away from being a Munro. Two feet, this surely needs to be remeasured. Probably has actually, but it's just amazing I can get that accuracy. Because literally my shin and above is like Munro height. Should be a Munro, it's a fine mountain. Aye, just because it's not a Munro, it's certainly worth doing because the views are fantastic. Got the whole Leaha range, got Ben A, and obviously Ben Alligan just behind us, which is clagged in at the moment. But this is fantastic. We just need to find a pitch now. Right, well, the, the cloud is rolling in as we speak. We're just getting pitched up at the moment. Kev can't make his mind up. <laughs> and uh, the midges are out as well. There's not a breath of wind up here. But anyway, tent of, tent of choice is the Lanshan 1 Pro. Give the old notch a rest. Right, I've switched out to my summer setup. I've got the Alpkit cloud base, got my three season Cumulus Ultralight 350 sleeping bag. That's seen better days, but I'll do a job. Got my Rab silk liner instead of base layers to sleep in. I'll probably regret that. I'll end up getting twisted about in that. Got the Nature Hike pill that I used in the Cape Raft Trail, so that's a fairly lightweight setup. And as you already know, I've got the Lanshan 1 Pro bad boy. It's going to be fairly mild tonight. We are now fed and ward, and um, we've just come back and over the summit. Just have a look at the uninterrupted view behind me, and you might be able to see Leaha lit up by the sun. And Ben A to my right shoulder there. In fact, I'll just turn the camera and face for you. So this here is Leaha. Two Munros in that. Scrambling a plenty, narrow ridges. Pan to the left. The mighty Ben A. Two Munros and several tops on that. Got Corbett's and Graham's in here. This is the Flowerdale Forest. Looking super boss. Good morning campers, it is uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, the wind picked up maybe about an hour or two ago, neither of us are getting much sleep, but the sunset, uh, the sunrise even, it's going to be good, just about here, over Fisherfield, it's going to be in the next 10-15 minutes. We might shoot off a wee bit earlier, try and beat the crowds going over Ben Alligan later on. Righty-o folks, it's 10 to 5 and we've just witnessed the superbo sunset, Ugh, sunrise! Uh, <laughs> it's early morning, I can be forgiven. Right, we're going to skedaddle off down, 
back up that first top and then we're going to head over to Ben Allegan. I've not had my proper breakfast yet, I had a, a Y Food shake which is keeping me ticking over thanks to Y Food for sending me another supply but uh, for breakfast I'm going to top it up with one of these a cup of soups, a cup of soups, a cup of porridge and I've got a, a little Kenko Duo Latte these are bloody good by the way it's probably the best you'll get to coffee in one of these sort of instant sashes Cheers. Mm. That's good coffee by the way, definitely recommend them. Fed and watered, we are ready to roll. We've got a long steep descent down this ridge and then we branch off to the left here. It's really steep there. So what I'll do is I'll put the camera away just now and I shall bring you back when we're back down towards that river where we filled up yesterday. Well that took two hours exactly from breaking camp down to here although probably spent what half an hour having breakfast aye, uh, so i say an hour and a half but i was a steep descent right it's nearly eight o'clock we have picked up the ben allegan path and we've got about 400 meters here so we've got a nice little dent into the trip already hopefully we'll beat the crowds to the summits who knows it's a bank holiday weekend so it's going to be busy i reckon I actually forgot how scrambly this was. Okay, I need to put these away, I think. Oh, we're being caught up on. There's two speedsters coming behind us. Is it? Aye. That's what you're doing. You've not got heavy packs away. That's true, mate, that is true. Rightio folks, that's us on the Horns of Allegan. This is the first one I believe. I think the middle one's the highest here. Could be the end one in fact. We'll find out when we get in about the scrambling. So let's go. I'm horny, 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 horny. So horny, give me some scrambling tonight. The pack's a pain by the way. Oh. One horn dune, two to go. Hog the rock, hog the rock, hog the rock like it's your best friend. Two horns down, one to go. I tell you what, these camping packs are not helping at all. When you're turning facing in the rock, they're pulling you back with the gravity. And then when you turn and slide on your bum, they're pushing you out and uh, just a couple of times I've had a little fright and it's, it's no difficult scrambling at all. Oh look at that eh? proper ibex. Well there is the top of the last horn. Lash fen again and of our next Monroe, but we've got this down climb first. Hope it isn't too bad. Here is Kev the mountain goat or the ibex. Bossed it. Spider Man, Spider. Spider pig, spider pig. Right, that's the, the horns done and dusted. Now we've got a big beast of ascent up the next one, which is the Munro. So time to get the poles back out. All right. 
righty at 986 metres. We're at the summit of Skurmore, first Munro of the day. And the views are fantastic. Right, we're not hanging about. I'm going to push on, get some shelter out of this wind, have some lunch. It's been six hours since we left camp this morning. Yeah, it's only 11 o'clock, so we've got plenty of time. Here is this giant cleft that you can see oh, for miles. Super bush. All right. We've just had a spot of lunch just at the at the cleft and now we're pushing on. Kev is raging at me because I watched Sea Spiracy and uh, <laughs> I've uh, gave up the, the mackerel so there hasn't been any mackerel wraps on this trip. Hey Kev, what's the time? Warburton's Fins o'clock. <laughs> and hopefully you didn't hear that profanity for Kev. Well, this is our last ascent of the day. 200 metres approximately up this bad boy. Tom Gruick, I think it's pronounced. There's Kev just on his way already. So uh, yeah, let's get going. That is Munro number two, done and dusted. Well, not quite, because we've still got a, a big descent to do next. It's a wee tad windy, but it's looking good. The views are nice. And uh, that's took us seven and a half hours to get here from breaking camp this morning. Alrighty, folks, we've been going nearly nine hours. Absolutely showered. Got about 450 meters to go back to the car, so I'm going to sign out for now. So if you watched this far, thank you very much. So it's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from. See you later. Catch us. Kevin, if I was to give you a thousand pounds to do all that route all over again right now, what would you say? Add another nine. Then I'll think about it. Should you take PayPal? Possible. All right then. I'll sort it out. <laughs>